night started in 1975. Mary Ellen had been photographing on the set of Milos Forman's movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. The film's location was the Oregon State Hospital in Salem. The superintendent of the hospital, Dr. Dean Brooks, took Mary Ellen to briefly visit Ward 81, a locked ward for women. These women were thought to be a danger to themselves or others. And she took one look and she knew this was something she wanted to do. And she came back the following year to make a project and spent 36 days doing that. She went with a high school friend, Karen Folger Jacobs, who was a writer. And when Mary Ellen and Karen were there working, they lived on an adjacent ward. They had to walk through a locked door. So they could walk through the locked door and down the corridor and start the day having breakfast with the women in the canteen, which was a great way to get to know the people. In 1979, that book, the, the original Ward 81 book, was printed by Simon & Schuster. After Mary Ellen died, uh, we in the studio started to put together a book called Mary Ellen Mark, The Book of Everything. It's roughly chronological. And when we got to the 70s, and it was the Ward 81 project, I called Karen and asked her if she had anything that she could put into the book. She said, I have these tapes. And that was the first time I'd heard of the tapes. So I said, immediately go to a place and have them transferred. She sent me one of the tapes. Do you want to sit down here too? Here's Mary Ellen. Hello, Verla. Hi there. What do, you, what do you think of this book me and Mary Ellen are doing? I'm doing the writing and she's taking all the pictures. Yeah, it's a very good idea. What's the name of it? Well, we might call it Ward 81. Oh. You think that's a good title? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a very good title. It blew my socks off. It was like amazing, an incredible thing. I said, how many tapes do you have? And she said she had 50 or 50, something like that. She transferred them all for us. And then we made the transcripts from that. What was interesting was to actually have a first-hand account of the making of the original book, Ward 81. All of the drama of the day with the women, and then the complications of getting access to shock therapy. So it was really interesting to see the progress they made on a day-by-day -day basis. Having printed the book of everything, with Steinle and seeing what was possible in printing technique and how to change since the original book was printed. I just thought, why not? Let's print this book again. And now having the audio tape, we were able to integrate some of that audio into the book. It kind of expands the way you were able to look at those pictures. You get a sense of the life in there from not only Mary Ellen and Karen making that project, but also listening to the voices of the, or reading the voices of the women and their experience. I think it just makes it um, a fuller story.